Hi friends, today I am going to tell you the story of Saint Namadev. I have already uh, narrated the story of uh, Vithoba, Pandarpur, Pundalik in this uh, channel before. So today we are going to listen to the story of Saint Namadeva. Namadeva is, uh, we can say he is a Lord Krishna's Amsha itself. He considers Lord Vithala as his companion, not as a servant. Nyanadeva another saint and Namadev both are both lived in the contemporary period and Nyanadev is just five years elder to Namadev. Namadev's family uh, is of uh, tailors and they were sincere devotees of Lord Vitopa. Uh, Dama Set and Gunabai were the parents of Nya Namadev. They were living in a Satara district current and uh, Nar Narsibhamani near the Krishna river. For material prospects, uh, for earning a better living, Dama said moved to P Pandarpur. Namdev, we can say he was like Bhakta Prahlada and the first word he uttered when he was at the age of two is word Vitala. Gunabai, his mother, took him to the Vitoba Mandir on a daily basis for worship and offered offer Naivedyam to the God. When uh, Namdev was in the age of seven, he used to play with the symbols and used to sing, did, do bhajans and all, and uh, spend the time entirely. He was not interested in studies at all. Mother told one day that he was very busy, so you go to the mandir, to the temple and offer the uh, nevedya to the god. So, uh, Vitoba went to the temple, Namadeva went to the Vitoba temple for giving the nevedya. He was uh, he called uh, Vital. Come have the uh, nevedim which I bought for you. I bought the press. I bought the nevedim. Have the same for you. But Vital didn't came. He cried bitterly and at last Vitala assumed the form of a human and accepted the offering. So very happily, Nam Dev went back home with the empty plate and narrated the entire story to Gunabai. Gunabai was very surprised to present all these things and she went next day without the knowledge of Namdev as she wants to understand what actually had happened in the temple. So, she was the, whatever happened yesterday, the same happened. Today also, God again disguised himself as a human and accepted the offerings given by Namdev and he vanished. So, Gunabai was really shocked and sat, surprised to see all this and he, she felt so satisfied that and proud that she was such a mother of a great devotee. Now, they've always uh, neglected worldly matters. He always uh, is not interested in his tailoring profession. He is not intended to uh, do anything for earning a living for the family. Namadeva's father was really afraid about the same and he sent Namadeva one, one day to sell clothes in the market. So, uh, reluctantly he went to the market and sat beside a stone and started singing bhajans. He spent the entire day singing bhajans and kirtans and he didn't know when the time passed by. When it was around, about to get sunset, he realized, oh, he has to go to Vital Mandir to see the uh, see Vitala. So, he understood he has not sold the clothes without selling the clothes. If he go empty-handed without the money, his father will give him nice beatings and thrashings. To avoid that, what he did, he kept the clothes in front of one stone and kept a stone nearby to the other the one and said that you are the guarantor stone and to this stone I have sell the clothes. Tomorrow I will come and you will give me the money. You are the guarantor. Telling this, the, uh, Namdev went back home and told the entire thing to his father. His father was really uh, shocked and really unhappy by the, the way uh, Namdev did all the things. father got really furious and told Namdev, bring that guarantor stone. I will ask him, where is the money? So next day, again Namdev went to the market and he was surprised to see that the clothes were not there and the, he took the guarantor stone and kept it in a in his room, in his uh, home, in a room locked. And he told his father that I have brought the guarantor stone and I have locked it in a room. And he ran to the temple. He was telling all these incidents to Vitala and he was really uh, narrated everything, what all happened yesterday and today. And uh, when the father asked, when the father opened the room, where he has locked the guarantor, he found 
instead of a stone there is a lump of gold namadeva's father's joy was really great but namdev was really uh, indifferent to all this he praised god for saving him from his father's thrashings and beatings Namdeva got married to a girl Radha Bai. Radha Bai is really a, a person who loves worldly uh, matters. So he is she is really a worldly minded woman. Vitala attended Namdev uh, son's naming ceremony as a in a disguise of a human and he uh, his son was named as Narayana and Vitala gave lot of good gifts to the uh, parents Namdeva and Radha Bai. Namdeva's house uh, become uh, uh, going through a phase of uh, extreme poverty vitala disguised as again as a dhamasaid's friend and visited namadev's home ho and give him excellent magnificent gifts so that they will be able to come out of the poverty rukmini devi one day uh, disguised as one bhakta called parisha bhagavat disguised herself and stayed started staying near radha bai's house and gave the philosopher's stone you know what is philosopher's stone philosopher's stone is a stone which is having the capability of turning every metal to a gold so his wife radha bai was so happy and she told namdev see parisha's bhakti is so powerful than yours namdev threw the stone into the river Parisha came to know about all these things and she took Namdev to task. Namdev showed the place where he threw the stone. When Parisha searched for the stone instead of one stone, she was able to see a lot of stone in the place which Namdev was showed. Parisha was really uh, admired and with the spiritual powers of Namdev and the devotion he had toward Vitala. Namadeva uh, now is on 20 years of age at the time he met Nyandeva Nyandeva and Namadeva uh, went for a pilgrimage Namadeva was not first ready to move out of Pandarpur as for him Vitala is everything and leaving Vitala and Pandarpur is not at all uh, he was not willing to but everybody forced him and he went along with Nyandeva for a pilgrimage so this is a very important period in the life of Namadeva from this time both nyan dev and nam dev never separated only death separated them desert of marwar they they uh, on the way to pilgrimage they are going through the desert of marwar both of them were dying of thirst they found a well but the water was in the very deep so nyan dev changed his form to a bird and bring water in his beak nam deva prayed rukmini the level of water rose up and the uh, they were able to drink the water this well is seen even today at kalarji 10 miles from bikaner on the way again come, uh, continuing the pilgrimage they reached a place called nagnathapuri nagnathapuri there is a famous shiva temple where is nandi is there facing the shiva now they were started doing bhajans over there and huge crowd assembled the temple the temple priests were not able to enter the temple for doing the puja the priest got angry and they told namdeva to go to some other place to the back side or outside the temple and then do the bhajans he went to the western gate of the temple and spent the entire night doing kirtans and bhajans the next day morning when the priest came for the uh, doing the puja they find that the shivalinga turned it faced towards the west normally in every temple nandi will be facing the shiva here in nagnathpuri nandi is facing the back side of shiva So Namdev story cannot be completed in one episode so we'll continue the story in the next one bye bye